And a warm welcome from a venue that really oozes football history. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro in Milan. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It's Milan, and they take on Cremonese. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Ismael Benasser plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Gilles. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, in this formation, the wide centre-backs need to be good all-round players, both in possession and defensively. They have to defend the box and also get out into the wide areas to cover the wing-backs. And now they get the ball rolling. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Diaz. Well, space if he goes inside. Determined defending. Could be. Oh, tremendous goalkeeping. But now it grinds to a halt because the flag has been raised. Well, the visitors won't enjoy hearing this, but it is a fact. They have the least proficient defence in the league, and it's something they're going to have to address sooner or later, Stuart. Well, unless they improve their defensive play, I can't see them getting anything from this game. They lack organisation, they don't read danger, and they're not determined enough. It's not a great combination, is it? Calabria. Olivier Giroud. Brahim Diaz now. It's a good looking ball in behind. Giroud! Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And the volley is struck so cleanly, which shows just how good his technique is. That's a top-class finish. Underway again with Milan in charge. Yeah! 
Well, a classic example of how to intercept. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Giroud. Diaz. Calabria. Now Giroud. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Benassi, this could level it, oh but the keeper with an important save, how important is that? Well he should score from there, that's a wasted opportunity, he should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. He's driven in the corner. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Long way out. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. Well, what a goal that would have been. Surprised he took it on, to be honest. Long way out, but oh, so close. Jihou. And taking it away. Making progress. That's a useful cross. And dealt with that ball comfortably. Jihu. Calabria. Olivier Giroud. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Getting the better of his opponent. But a good piece of tidying up. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Nicely saved. Trying to pick out a teammate. Still not clear. Benassi. And the attempt just wide. So unfortunate. And there we have it, the first half comes to an end here at the San Siro.
Well, the referee sounding the second half into action. Milan with the lead. He's given us away. Giroud on the move here. Leal. Hernandez. Grunic. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. But on you go, says the referee. Advantage. And support available. This looks threatening. No problems for the keeper. Brahim. And that's going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Leal. Benassi. Counter-attacking, very much an option. But they dealt with the threat first. Well, he could really get at the opposition. And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there. But at least they're now knocking at the door. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Incisive play, Ibrahimovic. Oh, it was there for him, but unable to find the target. Well, he certainly went for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there. He should have scored that. Well, both teams have had substitutes warming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Juan Nauto, Castagnetti, and Valeri. Now options are plenty. A well, disappointing end to the move. Calabria. Brahim. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. It's with Diaz. Read it well. Castagnetti. And the flag has gone up here. Offside the decision. And they will make the change now. Brahim on to Ibrahimovic Diaz now with Ibrahimovic well tremendous block Well, moving towards the end of the game here, and it's Milan's to lose at present. Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point, and I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. We've entered the final five minutes. Can he find the right pass? 
And forward they go, chasing the game. This could square the game. And thumped away. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. And possibilities inside the box. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So there it is, the final whistle, and it's going to be recorded as a win for the Rossoneri. What did you think of their performance in this game? Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory.